With several name changes and a mixture of version numbers, the Actian website is not the most intuitive site to use, and we do get a lot of questions from our customers about exactly how and what they should be downloading. To help with this process, we've created this video which will walk through the process of downloading the Actian Zen server, formerly known as PSQL Server, database engine for a Windows environment. Let's go to the computer. Here is a typical Windows Server 2019 environment that needs to have Zen Server installed. Due to problems with Internet Explorer security limitations on Windows servers, I do not recommend downloading directly from the server. If you must do that, please install a different browser such as Firefox first. That's what we have here. Let's first open up our browser window and paste in the URL for the database downloads. When this comes up, they have an awful lot of dead space at the top, so you probably want to scroll down a little bit. But you'll see the electronic software distribution list here. And you, it's already got the Zen PSQL product selected for you. In the release box, you'll see a list of all the different Zen releases. In our case, we're going to select the V13R2 production option. Note that V13R2 is very different from V13SP2. The Service Pack 2 release is also known as version 13.20, while the R2 release is 13.30. Note that you can also download patches from older versions here, such as version 12, and you can also download any of the ancillary products like the SDKs, Audit Master, Backup Agent, Data Exchange, and so forth. So we're going to select the V13 R2 production. Now open up the Platform Dropbox and you'll see a list of available platforms. You are probably installing this on a Windows machine, so we're going to select the Windows platform from the end of the list. Depending on your window size, you will probably need to scroll down slightly within your browser window now to see the list of production releases. And here you can see the Zen Enterprise Server Workgroup Engine Client V13 R2 production listing. Click on that header text and it will expand into all the different possible downloads. Again, scroll down further and locate the download you need. In our case, we want to find the Zen Enterprise Server Database Engine. So scroll down until you see it. And it's right here, Zen Enterprise Server Database. Before we click on that, however, if you scroll down just a little bit more to the next item, you'll see a second entry for the Zen Enterprise Server Database. Note though that this one says update one in the title. This download is actually a patch update to the full install in the version 13.30 download up here. You can also tell this by looking at the download sizes. The production download is 174 meg, but the patch is only 5 meg. In order to have the latest and greatest code installed on your server, you'll definitely want to download both files, the server install and the update one patch and install them, of course, in that order as well. So if you're looking for a different download, such as Zen Cloud Server, Zen Workgroup, or the Zen Enterprise Client Reporting Engine, then by all means, keep scrolling down until you find it. Uh, you'll also find here at the bottom the Zen Client itself. And again, for each of these downloads, you're going to have both the installer, this one's 136 meg for the client, as well as the separate update one patch, which is currently 5 meg. So let's scroll back up. To download any of these files, just click on the big blue HTTP button immediately following that download. If you are not yet logged in to Actian's website, you'll need to enter your login credentials. If you do not currently have credentials, you'll want to use the little not a member link in the lower right hand corner and you'll be able to set up an account now. Once you're logged in, you will probably see a message that says your download will begin in a moment. For as long as we've waited, it never seems to begin. So just click on the click here text to save yourself some time and have the product download right away. Again, you'll need to scroll down a little bit. You'll then get to the next dialog box, the Electronic Software Distribution License Agreement. Obviously, you must agree with the EULA terms in order to continue with the download, so select the radio button that says, I agree, and click Continue. Once you have done that, in a short time, you should see the Save File dialog box. 
click Save File and your download will commence. You can now close the web browser tab from the download. Note that if you need other downloads, such as the update patch, now is a good time to grab that since you're already logged into Actian's website and it will definitely save you some time if you can do it all right away. And that's pretty much it. Once we've done that, we should now have the downloads available. Waiting for it to finish. Once we do that, we'll have the downloads available. We can open the containing folder and we can see that we've downloaded the PSQL Server 13.30 installation. Now that we've done all that, I'll show you one other place to go in case you're still having problems. Use your browser to navigate over to our website, which is www.goldstarsoftware.com. Click on the PSQL 13 link in the upper left hand corner and then updates and patches underneath that. Click the green login button and then enter your login credentials on our website. You will now see all of the various downloads for V13 broken down by individual versions. If you open up any of the individual links you'll see all the different download files inside them. In the section for V13 R2, which is the second section here, we can see the server engine download along with all of the others. So all you have to do is click on this link and you'll have the server engine. To get the latest patch for that, we go up into the SP3 updates. And again, we can find the server engine for Windows. This is for update one. You should note, however, that this site is not always completely up to date and will definitely be slower than Actian's website as they have much more web bandwidth than we do. So we definitely recommend using their download page first whenever possible. Just a separate note, whenever there are multiple updates, as there are, for example, in the Service Pack 1, when you open up that section, you'll actually see all of the different updates documented here, in addition to all the individual readmes. So you see for update 1, we have a readme file, update 2, a readme file, and of course, update 3 has its own readme file. If you click on that readme file and scroll down a little bit, you'll actually notice that there's two sets of issues addressed. The first section is the ones that have been fixed in this patch. So this is 13.11 update 3, and you can see we have a several issues that have been resolved in this release. If you keep scrolling down, there'll be another section. This is for all of the previous updates. So if you're trying to debug a specific problem and you want to find out when it was fixed or when a change may have been made into the database engine, this is a great way to do it. Thank you for watching, and if you have any other questions about this process, you can find us online at www.goldstarsoftware.com.